with ARU Classic Wallaby statesman Ernest Hills. And Ernest, tell us your recollections of playing against the British and Irish Lions back in 1950, two test matches in Australia. Uh, Peter, um, they'd just come away from a tour in New Zealand where they'd been highly successful and um, we didn't really know what to expect but, and they were a, a hugely successful team. Um, on the particular days that we did, the two tests were played, um, well, I guess, I guess that they were that, well, they were just too good for us, and they were, uh, as I say, the um, the main things that they were uh, so successful at was their uh, huge array of talent in their back line, um, and uh, well, we did the best we could. Ernest, that was your one year in, in representative rugby in Australia, but yeah. you, you had a, a varied sporting career, obviously a, quite an esteemed career in New Zealand before you came to Australia, but also your running. Tell us a little bit about, uh, about your sprinting and your record. Yeah, well, I, um, I did a lot of amateur running, and when I came to Australia, I came across a train for the uh, British Empire Games and uh, under uh, John Trelaw's coach. But uh, in the meantime, I ran into a, another guy called Frank Banner, who was a world professional champion. And he finished up coaching me down at Rushcutters Bay. And um, from there, I was going back and I went back to New Zealand, ran in the British Empire Games trials, uh, won my trial, but then came back to Australia and turned professional.